The violent winds and lashing rain of Typhoon Fan Fon, known locally as Typhoon Ursula, made this year's Christmas a devastating one. Homes, businesses, communications, transport, livestock and livelihoods have been destroyed. As the death toll mounts, the full extent of the damage will take some time to assess. But disaster relief services, including the Philippine Red Cross, have made a start. Right now, uh, people are just beginning to wake up to the reality that they have no homes uh, and that we have to provide them with food, uh, we have to provide them with non-food uh, items such as uh, sleeping mats, sleeping kits, uh, uh, hygiene kits and all that. Uh, to start them off. The typhoon first hit the central province of eastern Samar, then moved northwest, closing airports and ferry services. People are in need of almost everything. Food, blankets, toiletries, these are important. I hope we receive help, pleaded this community leader. Typhoon Fan Phone is following a similar path to that of Super Typhoon Haiyan, the country's deadliest storm which killed some 7,000 people six years ago. Of the 20 or so major storms that hit the Philippines each year, Fan Phone is the worst of 2019. Sue Saville, ITV News.